Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Prop 35. Parallelograms, which are on the same base and in the same parallels, are equal to one another. So our given is, is that we have two parallelograms that are on the same base and contained by the same parallel, same by the, contained by the same parallels. So let's look at parallelogram A, B, C, D. So that's this parallelogram. And then let's look at this parallelogram, D, E, F, C. So they are on the same base, D, C, and they're contained within the same parallel lines. So the, this line is parallel to this line. So they're contained in the same parallels. We want to prove, therefore, that they are equal to each other. So we begin this proof by using Prop 34, which says when we, when we have um, parallelograms, we know that their opposite sides are equal to each other. So this side is equal to this side, and this side is equal to this side. The opposite sides and angles of a, of a parallelogram. Now, for the same reason, when we look at this parallelogram, we see that DC, side DC, is equal to its opposite EF. And now we know that AB is therefore equal to EF because they're both equal to DC. And two things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Therefore, these, and that's just common notion one. Therefore, AB and EF are equal to each other. They're both equal to DC. So we're going to add this piece here, BE, to both sides. We're going to add this section. So let's add segment BE to both sides. And that gives us AE is equal to BF. Now, we also know we've got two parallel lines, this parallel line, and these two parallel lines are cut by this transversal. And we know when that happens, it makes the exterior angle equal to the opposite interior angle. So we know the angle at A is equal to the angle at B. And this is Prop 29. So now let's look at what we have. We have AE equals to equals BF. We know already that AD is equal to BC, and, and that's because, again, Prop 29. Um, and so we have two overlapping triangles. I'll try to illustrate them here. So this triangle here in green, and this triangle here in red. So a little bit overlapped here. But what we can see is that they have a side. Here's side one in common with side one. And this angle, and equal to this angle. And then here's side two, equal to this side two. So we have side angle side equal to side angle side. Which means, using prop four, side angle side, we have two equal triangles. So this whole, tri whole red triangle is equal to this whole, whoops, green <laughs> triangle. So triangle um, EAD is equal to triangle uh, FBC. And since the triangles are equal to each other, we can subtract equals from equals and, and the remainders are equal. So this piece here, put this in blue, this triangle here is common to both the red and the green. So we can subtract triangle BE, we'll call this uh, G. So we can subtract triangle BEG from both sides. And what we're left with then, if we take this out, is we're left with this trapezoidal shape, BEDA, 
is equal to this trapezoidal shape, uh, EG, what did I say? Well, this was BG, BGDA. BGDA is equal to EGCF. And this is just common notion two, note three, where when we, when we subtract equals from equals, the remainders are equal. Now, all we have to do is add this triangle in blue to both sides. So we're going to, to each of these trapezoids, we're gonna add triangle DGC. And this is common notion two, we can add equals to equals, and that tells us that the remainders are equal. Well, when we add this blue triangle to this green trapezoid, we get this parallel parallelogram. So this is parallelogram A, B, C, D. And when we add this to here, we get this parallelogram E, D, C, F. So Therefore, these two parallelograms are equal to one another. They're on the same base and they're in the same parallel, and that's what we were supposed to prove. So we conclude our proof, QED.